In our previous video, we saw how to create a new JSF web project in Eclipse Oxygen. In this video, we're going to consider how to convert a web project that does not have JSF and then add JSF to it. So let's get started right away. I go to my Eclipse workspace and let me just start a brand new project. I'll say new dynamic web project and I'm going to call this plant places legacy. Maybe something that happened before we had a we had a uh, JSF project. Dynamic web module, I am going to make that uh, 3.0, but this time I'm not going to choose Java server faces. I'm just going to leave it like so with my uh, Tomcat as the target runtime, default location, everything else. Choose next and go ahead and generate web XML. So again, this is just a, a pretty much a vanilla web project that I'm creating with the web XML, where the web XML describes what my project should look like. So I go to web INF and I navigate to web, web XML. We see a simple uh, welcome file list. So at this point, we have a project we can deploy and uh, it, we want to add JSF to it. So at this point, I right click and I say properties and under properties, I go to project facets. Under project facets, Here's where I can add Java server faces as a facet. Now, one important thing to note, see this further configuration available. I click on that and it's going to ask me for a JSF implementation library. So I want to add the library here, but here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Previously, we have been able to download it like so, uh, accept the license agreement and choose finish. But what we end up getting is an error that says zip file empty. Uh, because apparently where it's going to look for these folders, it, it, there is nothing there to download. Now, I previously set up this Mojara library in my last video. Let me show you how to do it in case you don't currently have that. I click on the library here. I choose new. I give it a name. In this case, I'll, I chose Mojara, which I already have, so it won't let me do that again. But nonetheless, I get this thing called Mojara. Next, I need to go to a couple of URLs that I'm going to put in the comments of this video. And in my case, I want 229, uh, JSF 229. So I, I have to download the JSF API 229 jar, save link as, and I saved it in a location, just C, libs, mojara, like so. I need to do the same thing on this link for JSF impl 229 jar. I know there are a lot of files here, but we specifically want this one, JSF impl, 229 jar. Then I come back and I click on Mojara. I select Mojara, add external jars, and then I select those two jars that I've downloaded previously. Okay, so see the same location, C libs Mojara. I expand on Mojara. You see I've already done it, so they're already here, but the end goal is that this is what this user library should look like. It should manually have these two jars. So apply and close. We look good. Make sure it's ticked. Now, notice here that it is adding a bit of JSF magic to our web XML. And what it's doing is it's saying I want to, uh, when I receive something under the faces subdirectory or the faces uh, root, let's say, I'm going to apply faces magic to it by applying the faces servlet. Also, it's creating the faces configuration file, which is faces config XML. All looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add one more URL pattern. I'm going to say any file that ends with XHTML, I also want that to be faces parsed. And after this, I choose OK, and I choose uh, Apply and Close. And we'll give it a moment to think. Notice what it's done now. It's added this new file called faces config XML. Nothing in it just yet, but we will build it up over the course of this playlist. Also, if I take a look at web XML, notice it has been enhanced significantly with several redirections that deal with faces. So it's it's using that faces kind of root directory and saying any URL request that includes this, we're going to redirect to have faces decide how to pretty it up. And also the extension that I added, star.xhtml, it's using that and saying anything that ends with start with, uh, sorry, anything that ends with .xhtml, we're going to have faces parse that. So it's probably a good idea if I add index.xhtml to my welcome file list as well and move it to the top to say, okay, if I get index.xhtml, if I find that on my file system, give that higher priority uh, over each of these other files that fall below. 
So to test it out, I'm going to grab an index.html that I created in a previous video, and I'm simply going to drop that under web content, make a small change. I'll just say welcome to legacyplantplaces.com uh, so that we know that, yes, indeed, we are looking at the correct site. So uh, take that, right-click on my Tomcat down below, right-click, uh, say Add and Remove, and Plan Places Legacy, move that over, choose Finish. Okay, it says Started Restart, so we'll simply restart. Oh, yeah, go ahead and save. Okay, uh, just a moment. We'll see if that should not take too long. Okay, so started and synchronized. Now I will go to my browser window, and I'm going to go to localhost 8080. Okay, and we call this one Plant Places Legacy, assuming I spell it correctly. And here we go. Sure enough, you see, welcome to LegacyPlantPlaces.com. Sure enough, it has created our brand new web project. It has interpreted index.xhtml as the highest priority welcome file. And it's currently showing us index.xhtml. So, so far all of this works. And the next thing that we need to do is add a little bit of JSF magic. Not to worry, uh, we will cover that in the next series of videos. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.